What's good, you guys? It's your boy, Jay Freshman, back again with another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to make your own dope producer tag. A lot of you guys been asking me, like, man, how you made this um, Jay Freshman tag? But to be honest, I'm going to um, add a little bit more to this video and um, show y'all different effects that I probably would have had done back then if I had knew what I knew now. Anyways, because I made this, um, I made that Jay Freshman tag, like, probably like eight years ago my sister did that shit like it's so it's just been like a trademark pre pretty much i ain't gonna ever change it like that's gonna be something where it's just like that, there's a lot of history behind that tag you feel me but anyways so the first thing you want to do is go to your mixer and you know set up your whole recording if you don't know how to do that make sure check your options go to audio settings make sure you're on um your you're on you're using one of the osseo devices because if you use the primary device i don't even think you could record and even if you could it's just going to sound sloppy but um and then you go to your inputs whatever your input is and if it's in your first input or your second you pick that one and then pretty much what i would do is you could leave it like this and it just goes straight to your master but if you want to like put effects on it and whatever just kind of route it to that so you could just route it to there and then put your effects on there. So we just gonna record a simple tag. I don't know what I'm gonna come up with. Um, let me see. Fuck. Let me see. Fuck. Hmm. <laughs> Trying to think. Of, I should have probably came up with it. Um. Fucking name. The Beat Gods. Yeah. I'm. Li I'm just gonna use the Beat Gods. <laughs> we just gonna do that shit. So we gonna go to this mic up here. Make sure you record into playlist as an audio clip. Okay. The beat gods. And then, boom. That's how you make your producer tag. Now nah, I'm just fucking with you guys. We're going to add some effects and, you know, we're going to make this shit dope. So let's let's zoom in real quick. Let me just put it over here. The beat gods. So if it comes out that small, just normalize it so it could be big. The beat gods. Okay, that's too loud. Hold on. The beat gods. All right, so the first thing you want to do is um, compress it. So we can just, that's why I said it's good that we record it into the next track, so then we could just put on a compression instead of putting instead of putting the compression compressor on the master. I'm gonna go with native instruments solid dynamic this you can just go to any compressor and just you know just use one of the presets man you ain't got to get all technical and get all crazy unless you want to like with me presets are made for a reason g because it's like it's just a faster workflow you know so let's just see how that sounds with the compressor the beat gods the beat gods the beat gods, the beat gods. So you can hear a little bit of stuff in the background, but um, if that's the case, just pull up a regular limiter and put the limiter on top of the um compressor and then just put noise gate. So hold on, make sure I right, was gonna affect my voice, but if I sound a little bit choppy, it's because of the noise gate, but you see there's no sound pretty much like background noise, so it should sound better. Let's see. The beat gods. The beat gods. And it's it's still kind of bleed into the um the tag, but that's fine, man. Like you ain't gotta get all crazy. But let's go. The beat gods. So now that you got that, let's just spice it up with some EQ. The beat gods. So take out some low end. And you might want to use a de-esser if you're using one of like the S, like the beats god. Or feel me when I say S. You want to put a de-esser on that. All right. So now that I got the waves pulled up, we could just pick a preset. So I'm thinking ESS is like S. And the sh is the sh. I mean, that, that would make sense. And you just pick if you're a male or a female. The beat gods. 
So it's not working right now because you're not hitting the threshold. It's kind of like a compressor. I mean, it is a compressor. The beat gods. The beat gods. So you see that I hit it. I'm going to just A-B, A-B it. Every time I say A-B, I always keep thinking of A-B and B, Airbnb or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, the beat gods. The beat gods. So listen to the S. The beat gods. The beat gods. The beat gods. So you can even pull it down a little bit more. The beat gods. The beat gods. Yeah, so this is definitely a bigger difference. The beat gods. 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 If you close your eyes, you can hear the difference. We can put that at the top. Because remember, the way you put your effects, you have to put it in an order, you feel me? Remember, this shit, you just don't put effects on and not think there's an order that is getting signaled. It's like a signal process, you feel me? The beat gods. The beat gods. All right, we're going to leave it at that. Bring up a reverb. I'm going to just use fr um, Fruity Reverb too. What you want to do is bring up all the wet and put down all the dry. All right, I'm going to take myself off of the <laughs> the effects so y'all can hear what I'm saying. So we got to bring the decay up. We're, we're going to do the reverse um vocal effect when they be like, Sign. and then it goes into the song. That was a bad example, but <laughs> y'all know what I mean. That's pretty much what we're going to do, and we're going to use it on the first word. So let's just hear it. <laughs> So you see it's just washed with a lot of reverb. Record the first word. Not record it, but um consolidate. So that's control alt C. So there you have it. Um you have your reverbs, your V verb tell. And then what we're gonna do is go to the channel rack, go to what we recorded, reverse it, bring it up a little. I'm gonna slice out that one part right here. Boom. Let me go to none. Boom. All right. Just kind of bring it close. And also, to make it this sound clean, go back to your channel rack. Go back to this part and do a crossfade so that there's no, like, clicks and shit. And, you know, that it just goes in smooth. That's what she said. Anyways. And then let's play it. Yes. Hold on. Make sure you bring back the actual sample. So you could delete that part. Bring back that part. Just kind of kind of line it up. Ain't got to be perfect, you feel me? This is just because all of this is going to be consolidated into one wave track. But then you want to take off the reverb or actually just... Bring back up your dry, put down the wet level, put down the decay, because you don't want hella reverb on the, you know, the shit. And that should be good. And you could probably put this up like 20 milliseconds. The beat gods. Ooh, that shit fire. We could get crazy with this shit. So let's fuck with the reverb. The reverse reverb effect. Let's put some gross beats on this. Let's see what we could do with gross beat. I'm just going off the top. Let's see about this. The beat. Okay. The beat. The beat gods. The beat gods. That's actually sound dope. But let me see what high speed does. 
the beat gods. Hmm. You could probably layer it. You feel me? You could get very crazy after you record. You could just do some crazy ass effects. The beat gods. Hmm. Let's create an um, automation clip. Um, hold on. Make sure when you create an automation clip that you're on none. I mean, not <laughs> you don't want to be on none because then, you know, it gets very sloppy. Even though I didn't record this to an exact tempo. Um, you could do that. Like, it's not really that important. I mean, if you want to be, like, very exact with your shit, then do that. But, like, it's really not that important. We just trying to get the effect. The beat gods. Hold on. Let me start from the actual tell. The beat gods. Hmm. This is weird. The beat gods. The beat gods. There you go. That's dope. What else we could do? We could... I never tried hard power. Turn this down because you already know this shit about to be loud. This is some kind of distortion plugin. Yeah, see, I told you, turn that shit all the way down. And then, um. The beat got. Yeah, that's dope. That's fire. And as far as the vocals, let's see what effects. We, you could put a chorus on it, to be honest. Put some kind of flanger or whatever you want to, you know, something to spice it up. Let me see what a chorus. The beat gods. The beat gods. Hold on. Let me get the whole effect there. The beat gods. That's sick, but let me see. The beat gods. That's sick too, but the thing about that, it kind of muffles it out. So you kind of just want to bring back the the knob. The, you know, the wet and dry level, you want to bring back that so it doesn't sound too muffled. The beat gods. The beat gods. The beat gods. That sounds good. Boom. Like, oh, let's let's put a delay. The beat gods, gods, gods. I mean, <laughs> it's good to put a delay. The beat gods. Let's put it at eight. Turn down the wet level. Turn down the um, feedback. Ping pong. Go to a little to the right. I think it's inverted, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. You see up here? If you look up here, watch. It says right, left. So this is technically the um, right, and that's technically the left. The beat gods. 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 You can fuck with the high pass or the low pass. The beat gods. The beat gods. The beat gods. The beat gods. Honestly, the low pass sounds better in my opinion. The beat gods. The beat gods. And then after you're done, um, you can just render it, honestly. The beat gods. The beat gods. The beat gods. And there you have it, man. That's your own personal tag. Like, and then, like I say, you could get crazy with the effects, but for the most part, that's what it is. Render it out, and then you have your tag. And it's so the the I, w I wanna say with the tempo part. You probably want to record it to a tempo so that you know it's easier to put into other projects but for the most part it shouldn't be that hard to line up a tag you know um but if you want to you know save yourself that trouble definitely record it to a tempo but there you have it you guys if you like this video you already know like and subscribe and share with your other producer friends that don't have a tag right now and this is trying to figure out how to make one for themselves have a nice day